There's a city in northern Germany famous for its cars. So one day they said, if we're good at building cars, why not start building sports teams and be good at that too? Bingo! No sooner said than done. They started building sports teams and one of them was a soccer team. It was established in 1945, and after World War II, all they had were 10 green jerseys. Someone pointed out, hey, we don't have shorts, so the players' wives had an idea. They sewed them shorts from donated bed sheets, and that is how the team got its colors green and white, which also became the colors of their hometown, Wolfsburg. Soon Wolfsburg was playing in West Germany's top division, but not for long. Nope, it wasn't until 1997 that they finally rejoined the Bundesliga under coach Willy Reimann. The final game of the season was an all-or-nothing match for promotion against Mainz 05. The winner would make it into the Bundesliga, and Wolfsburg won 5-4. After that, Wolfsburg remained in the Bundesliga and evolved from underdog to regular participant in European competitions. In 2002, the club invested in a bunch of stones and built a new stadium, the Volkswagen Arena. In 2007, Wolfsburg appointed Felix Magat as head coach, sports director, and he had a say on the club's board. Big responsibility for one person. Wolfsburg started climbing up the charts and ended the season in a remarkable fifth place. Only four more steps to go, they thought. The following season, their striker Grafitsch not only scored one of the greatest goals in the history of the Bundesliga, but also set a new record with his strike partner Eden Zico, as the two of them scored 54 goals in one season. All right! Wolfsburg won the Bundesliga for the first time in 2009. In 2012, the club appointed another coach who would shape the team's history. After a period of self-discovery in the lower regions of the league, Dieter Hecking led Wolfsburg back to success. Shoulder to shoulder with the highly respected sports director Klaus Alofs, they were about to make Wolfsburg an established name in European soccer. In 2015, the club added Andre Schürrle to their roster as their most expensive player ever. Not just because he set up Germany's World Cup winning goal, but also to underline Wolfsburg's high ambitions for the future. This season they won the Super Cup, last season they finished second in the league, qualified for the Champions League, and won the DFB Cup for the first time. And this season, with high-class soccer by high-class players like Julian Draxler, Luis Gustavo, and Dante, they've made it to the Champions League quarterfinals. In the Bundesliga, history repeating. They again face Mainz 05 in an epic match just like in 1997. On April 9th, both teams will compete with qualification for next season's European competitions at stake. Experience the Bundesliga, VfL Wolfsburg vs. Mainz 05, live on Fox, April 9th.